Okay, so today I'm going to go over the SPICE simulation and what you need to turn in for that. So for page one, you're supposed to just um, turn in the printout of the schematic, so print that out. Page two is plots of the output voltage, so make sure to copy the command um, commands that I have above. So copy this section with the include. Make sure you put the diode.txt into the right folder where you've saved the schematic. And then when you hit run, I'm going to record the output from the sinusoid and then make sure you name the regulator output positive and the negative. So it should look something like this. Um, and then print that one out. So that's your page two. Page three is the plot of the positive voltage ripple. Um, and then change the axes to what it specifies there. So when you run this, then you're going to just um, do the output positive. And on this, then it says to change from 16 milliseconds to 44 milliseconds. And then on your average, so if you do a command L um, on the Mac, then it will bring up your averages. So you can see here that the average for the positive was nine point, about 9.3 and about the same, about minus 9.3. Um, and I gave a specification that you can have the range from 8.5 to, to um, 9.5. And so just make sure that it is within that range. And, oh, actually, I misread that. So it's minus 8.8 .8, or minus 8.9 for the negative supply, and then there's something wrong with my negatives, so I need to um, go back and debug that better because that's saying that it has a 9.3 um, peak to peak value, whereas my positive supply only has a 0.02 um, peak to peak value. So there is something wrong with my negative supply, so I need to actually go and change my schematic. But I'm going to just finish showing you um, what to do here. So if you right-click on that left axis, then it will bring up the top to the bottom, and it's said to do from... So with this being a 9.3, so I can do plus 0.2 to that would be 9.5 would be my top. And I'm supposed to do it in... Um, by two milliseconds, so I have two or two millivolts, or by 0.1 volts, so change this to 0.1 volts, and then this should be 9.3 less to that would be 9.1. So I'm going to change that range, and then on the bottom, I'm going to also click, and then that one says to change from 16 milliseconds to 44 milliseconds by 2 milliseconds. So 16 milliseconds to 44 milliseconds. It's 44 milliseconds and then the tick should be 2 milliseconds. So I hit OK and then that should zoom it in more. And then you print this one out for the positive supply and then you're going to print one out for the negative supply. And so we can see on my negative supply that there is something wrong with it. So um, it took, instead of doing the average from 7 milliseconds, for some reason it took it from 6 milliseconds. So So I'm going to do the same thing. I can change this axis here on the bottom from 16 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds, and 44 milliseconds. And then I can change this axis. I'm going to assume it's about the same. So I'm going to do minus 9.5 um, as the bottom. And then I'm going to do a 0.1 tick and then go up to a minus 2.1 um, or 9.1. And so, yeah, that shows me that it is about the same averaging as the top. 
and that's why it's negative. And then I also um, want to do it through the negative supply and get my current. through each of those. And so again, I can see that I'm at about 200 milliamps and print that one out. So that's page um, six and seven for the current for the power. Run it again and you are gonna change it by control clicking over the element you want. So this is the resistor that I wanna see the power, so control, or I mean command, four watts. And so I need to make sure that I'm having at least a five watt resistor. So print that one, and then you can do the power through the other one should be about the same. So print that one separately. And then in the end, last page, page 10, is that you're gonna write a conclusion and that concludes what you need for the simulation.